Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. Today I want to talk about war being a lot less important than it ever has been in the Civilization series. You know, when this game first came out, it was still very meta to train up some people and go attack your neighbor, right? It was a lot about conquering as much space as possible. But now, we have more civs with the two DLCs, and everyone has a better understanding of the game. I'm starting to realize personally that war is not a needed thing in this game. You know, I was playing a game the other day as Sweden, and Sweden is very much set up to win a cultural victory. And, you know, I was playing Sweden and I found the city-state that every great person you get increases your overall culture production, right? So like, if I recruit a great person, I activate him and I also get, I think it was a 2% culture boost. and you know, I was Caesarian of that city. I was Sweden, so I got great people bonuses. I made a religion that gave me great people bonuses. And I focused a lot on just building up um, culture areas. You know, I kind of settled my land and I didn't really go to war. I kind of like defended myself, captured a few cities, but I wouldn't necessarily call myself a warmonger or someone that actively went to war. I really barely did anything this whole entire game. It was actually kind of boring. Um, but I didn't go to war. I just stayed and built and attempted the very best I could to build cities that let me build world wonders. And I won via culture. Okay, now I don't know if you guys have ever played a Civ game that you win via culture, but culture to me has always been that victory that you get when you're at war and it kind of like ends the war early. It's like, oh, okay, you win via culture because there's no other culture left, you know? Like, the first time I played that game, I believe I was America and I won with culture because I just conquered everyone. There's like a couple cities left, you know? So stuff like that um, really shows that culture's balanced. Religion, you can, you can be so peaceful and spread your religion. Um, you can also win with science. I mean, science has always been that kind of peaceful thing. And now with diplomacy, you can you can win with diplomacy, right? You can be peaceful. You don't exactly have to go to war with anyone. And you can still win with domination. Like, what I think is the best in terms of balancing in this game is they didn't take combat and nerf combat. They took culture. Well, they took science made a little bit more complicated in the DLCs. But they took culture, they took religion, they took diplomacy, and just made it more viable, you know? Like, diplomacy, going for diplomatic points and being peaceful with everyone is a really good strategy, you know? Um, going in and being all this culture powerhouse, very good strategy, you know? Kill, going to war all the time, very good strategy. It's, you know, it's all good strategies, and I think that that's, that's kind of one of the reasons why I always go back to Civilization VI, as I don't think it would be my favorite game, but I think it's the most fair. I think it's very balanced, for the most part. I think science is still overpowered, but I think in every Civilization game, science has been just overpowered. Maybe not in Civilization Revolution, because you could culturally convert cities. I'm kind of glad they got rid of that. So that's all I really wanted to make this video about was war is now not only, it's not even a thing that you need to do. You know, think about Civ 3 and 5. I didn't play a lot of 4. And Civ 2. You always seem to have to, like, kill, you always, I would always, in those games, always rush ironworking and go take out the neighbor. You know, then I have their city, it's under my control, and then I would win, you know? So let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. I'd like to know what you think about it. Do you think it's still like pretty evenly balanced? Or do you think, do you think that war is still a thing that you absolutely need to do in the Civilization game? I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.